we're not a big school district, so we're not fortunate to have a dispatcher that's always here in hand. So Christina plays a big factor there. At times you've got angry parents, and of course they're always on the right, they're never wrong. But by the time I get over here and I get the message from Christina, I get the softer side of the parents because you already talk to the parents, kind of work with them. I'll be honest with you, at times, you know, she'll kind of correct us and say, no, but you know what? Maybe the parent is right. Maybe we need to do this. The bulk of her workload has to do with facility use and she will take on a task from start to finish and multitask. We deal with a lot of state requirements of elevators in our school sites. A plumbing problem, a union problem, a purchasing problem. Water treatment, you know, we have runoff, of sprinkler systems, county inspections for safety. She's the one that'll hand out the assignments to the maintenance guys and fix the problem or fill the position or all problems go through her and she's the one that solves them. Anyone knows they can come in here and if they have a question or concern, they can generally get that answered through her. So that's why you see so many people coming in here to, to get assistance from her. I started working in this district. I really wasn't too involved with CSEA. I did attend a few meetings and uh, I kind of took a liking to it because uh, I come from a family of union. She was absolutely the best president and it was during the worst of times. She came in basically cold turkey with no no pre-made training or any or, or any experience and just jumped into it with both feet. I was here in the 90s when there were layoffs and stuff but this time around it, it was more than just lack of money there were some other things going on within this small school district. The current superintendent Sharon Cotterell is serving probation for shoplifting shoes. Ex-school board member Brian Martin just started serving a 17-year prison sentence for fathering a child last November with a student in his care. Morell was at, at its lowest. It was really, really damaged. And that was the one thing that the district really needed was a good morale. This school board was basically rubber stamping all the decisions that adversarial superintendent and management team were making. I stepped in at the worst time because I just felt I needed to do something. She did that because she cared about the district. She cared about the staff. She cared about her members. She cared about the students. So as the years went by, things got a little bit rough. So much hostility and negativity towards her, personally directed at her. Christina actually was one of the key people within the district along with the teachers association president that at the time saw the need for a change of board members within the district. There were three seats on the school board coming up for the re-election at the same time. She reached out to me because I was very active when I was an employee and she was able to help me financially through the Victory Club, through the money that the members put in. And I don't think that they realize what a difference that makes. And with CSEA's backing, as far as monetary backing, we've got some people elected. We were probably a third to half of their um, election budget, and that's all because our members um, saw the value in the pace. One, two, three, four, five dollars a month. You don't see it, but you see it now because it paid dividends and you still have a job. Christina has been a, a huge, a huge leader within this district, not only with the classified, but with the administration and superintendents. I mean, it always hasn't been easy, but she has stood her ground. She's always out there looking for everybody's interest, and I think that's one key factor for, for an individual to be successful like that. She did it because she loves what she does, and she does it well. We call her Reina de los Changos, which means she's the queen of the apes, and that's what she does. She, she takes care of us. She's our queen, and she will always be the Reina de los Changos. Anybody that you've probably uh, seen around here, owe her in some part, and probably a large part, owe her gratitude, you know, for helping to fight to keep their positions. 